good afternoon we are so happy that you're here we vlog every single day so if you like this video we hope that you'll come back tomorrow um i am cooking up some dinner right now i'm going to actually make a stir fry with some leftover quinoa and some rice kind of a mixa mixa all together um some veggies and then we have a little bit of that tofu left and i'm gonna try and make it like coconut um like hawaiian-y i don't know we'll see how it goes um i'm just winging it but i will show you the steps and if it's a success or not so i'm going to start just throwing the tofu in this little marinade it's teriyaki sauce a juice of a full lemon some parsley garlic a little bit of cayenne pepper and garlic. I'm gonna let this sit for a while while I fry up the other veggies. Alrighty, and that's how that looks. Probably could have used a little bit more marinade. I'm still thinking if I'm gonna bread it at all. Again, I've really never cooked with tofu before. So I'm just gonna let that sit and soak up the, the flavors and then get my onion, zucchini, and green pepper all fried up. Alrighty, these veggies are cooking up. I added some soy sauce to it salt, pepper, um, garlic, minced garlic when I was first frying them up. And then I just added a swirl of soy sauce as well as like half a lime's worth of juice. I'm making this like a chili lime soy sauce um, veggie bit. And then the, um, the tofu will be a little bit more barbecue-y. <laughs> just try it. It was temperature right. hot, but it was really good. Yeah? Enough flavor? Um, I think so. Are you gonna put any hot sauce or seasonings on it? Because I feel like you're gonna. This is an interesting conversation to have. <laughs> I think it's delicious. I think you may try it, and then after five minutes after we're done eating, you're gonna say, "I'm sorry, that was bland." Okay. Well, let me try it out. I added more soy sauce, more lime juice, more chili powder. Once I added in the quinoa and the rice, our biggest thing with this is gonna be portion control because we're trying not to like trying to limit carbs and add in some fats. So this should last a couple of days. We just gotta be good with our portions. Now this looks messy. Um, wish me luck. This is a flax egg with barbecue sauce. This is breadcrumbs with barbecue sauce. A Little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of ginger. Um, so I'm gonna put the blocks of tofu in this as the egg then add it to that i got a little bit of coconut oil going i gotta swipe it around a little bit just sear it for one minute on each side and then i'm gonna bake it so this actually turned out pretty good this is the last batch the other breading looks a little bit better the stove is super messy with the rice and everything but it's too hot to clean now um then i'm gonna bake these just for a little bit they look nice and crispy and it'll be time to eat Alrighty, here is our dinner. I have barbecue sauce on the side to dip my tofu in. Peter's watching all this new PlayStation stuff going on. I'm like, part of me wants to get it, part of me doesn't. Our PlayStation is 12 years old. 11 years old. Yeah. It's a PlayStation 3. We've been playing hide and go seek with Evie. We can we we hid Peter from her and then she was like trying to find him. <laughs> <laughs> Did we trick you? I got on the bed, she didn't see me get on the bed and then she ran underneath the bed and then for about three minutes she, I didn't move. And I like pretended to like be searching for Peter. Hi. Oh did, did you miss me? <laughs> She is a happy pup. Sandwich, puppy sandwich. 
Welcome to the world's shortest and most boring Brookhart Project vlog. Um, I need this. It's called unsweetened almond milk. We also need this, because Sarah wants milk and cookies. It's past eight. We have not done anything after five o'clock. I kind of had meetings that went over, then we ate dinner, and then we've literally just been sitting there being like, <sighs> it was just one of those days, you know? It was just, <sighs> I played with Eve for a while, we played Trick Center. Um, we've had this like coffee jazz rain music going. I was kind of, I put it as a joke. It's an eight hour long video that's been on for probably two and a half hours. So milk and cookies time. He's having an identity crisis. Our whole life's been a lie. My sister just texted me, and apparently Ancestry DNA or whoever, yeah, Ancestry.com, if you do your DNA analysis through them, they like, as the science gets better, they can like redo your DNA. And my sister texted me her, like a screenshot of her DNA, like Did result. You say DNA, what? DNA, 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 because obviously, like, we would be pretty much the same, exact same. Mm hmm. And, like, she was born right after you, so little I've bits always, of you are in her. I've always been like, oh, we're German. Oh, we're German. Eve's mad because... And we're French-Canadian. And we're French-Canadian. We're German and French-Canadian. We're German and French-Canadian. Last name's German. We're German. I am German. This says 26% Germanic Europe. But this says that I am 35%, 9% more than the German. The most of anything. The most of anything. Scottish. I'm Scottish. <laughs> You're like Merida. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Plus, I like the castles in Scotland. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And I'm Irish, and that's like, they're pretty <coughs> close. Oh my god, our babies might have blue eyes and, brown, and blonde hair. Who oh, am I? There's the milk. And here. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? They eat the whole meal roll first. What's your Oreo technique? I need a specific answer with instructions from a Miss Katie Vining. Because <laughs> she is a Oreo kind of sore. We actually texted her yesterday when we got these. And we we're like, remember we were like last... She hadn't tried them. Two years, was it? It was like two years ago. We were like, we would, we kept trying. She would, because she was like doing all the Oreos. And we would go to her house and try out the new Oreos with her. Yeah, did you know you're my favorite in the whole world? And you don't even care. <laughs> She'd rather eat Oreos. I love you. We're watching Maddie's vlog. We'll put a link down below. I always say, wife. I think a little bit. It's, he's Peter McKinnon's buddy. He's very like tech review. But like very he does not tech review. beautiful stuff. Yeah, he's done a lot of like videography, photography, and commercials and stuff. But him and his wife just welcomed their second child into the world. And as they're like, here, I'll, I'll go back and show it. So they're in this spot. And then just like walking around and waiting. Sarah, I look at Sarah and she's just smiling. And we were like, um, oh my gosh, this is going to be us we so actually, soon. Like we've been waiting for this so long. And like now we actually like have to go and have a baby. Like pregnancy is just part of it. Yeah. You didn't even see what I was doing with my Oreos. I did. I just didn't <laughs> mention anything. <laughs> I ate just one side of the cookie and I made this mega Oreo. Delicious. So good. We're couch potatoes. We had what? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> um, we had the help on, but we have we're like falling. In and out of being asleep, um, probably me more than Peter, um, but Eve is toast. Oh, she was toast until Sarah yawned. <laughs> oh, she's just getting comfy. She's still toast a little bit. She fits so perfectly. She actually didn't like this bed for a long time when we first got it, but she loves it now. Dear Peter, you haven't said a word about HHN. Oh, I really haven't. 
Um, Are they calling it 29 and a half? That's what some people have called it. I think I think Universal is still calling and it initially a test this weekend. Yeah. So if you didn't know, Universal announced that there will be a weekend of well, the, fear. The, the unconfirmed accounts are that it's going to be alternating weekends of two different houses. Mm-hmm. Or that I have to sneeze. God bless you. So one heavily trusted report says it's going to be on the weekends only during daytime, no extra cost, two houses on one weekend, and then the next weekend a different two houses, but and they rotate those four houses like two and two and two and two and two and two. Oh, I thought it was just the two that they had announced. But the more commonly accepted rumor is the two that they announced. The official word right now is just this weekend. All they've said is Friday is going to be the premiere pass holder. Pass holder Preview. Regi- preview that you'd like to register for today, which we saw some people registering for. And then Saturday and Sunday, it was open to all day guests that there was going to be two houses open Saturday and Sunday, the same ones. Um, they were Bride made, of Frankenstein and the Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Yes. And that they, those houses will still be present next year <laughs> in HHN. So they're just going to keep the houses all year. They're not going to keep them up, but like they're going to like active. Yeah. But they're going to keep them up backstage. They didn't say how they're going to do the queues or anything like that, but I presume it'll probably be a virtual queue, kind of like Hagrid's and many of the other rides are right now, which would be awesome. I think I'm going to go. I was going to say, the big question is, will you be we attending? We have family coming in this weekend, and we haven't told you guys about that because we just haven't been talking about it yet. Yeah. Um, but they don't. I thought they were coming here, getting landing Saturday afternoon, but they're actually late landing late Saturday evening. So I think now that I realize I got their flight numbers and everything, I think I can go. But I still will want to get there close to park open. Yeah. And we're debating if Sarah's going to come with. We believe Megan Petrus is going to come with me, and we don't know if Katie's going to come. I because it's not a huge event where it would take up the whole day. My thought is that, like, I would still like to go and enjoy the rest of the park with you guys. But I also know that I have work to be done. Right. My thought is, like, and I And with family know. being here, I might do not just vlog work that day. Right. Because I want to make the most of my time And my here. thought is, I don't know what it's going to be. We could be standing in a really social distance long line for hours. And I don't know if that would be enjoyable for you. Yeah. Or if you would just go enjoy the park by yourself, but there's not too much for you to enjoy. Right. So we just kind of got to And I also see. don't want to enjoy the park more than, like, if we get in and I somehow get in both houses in the first two hours, I'm going to leave after that. Yeah. I'm not going to hang out. Cause I right. Because you're going to want to give other people the chance to The resort's in our name, it. too. So, like, when we, can, when we can check in on Saturday, we're going to check in. Yeah. So, yeah, that's happening. Peter's really excited, but we're just, like... We're still just, like, not 100% certain what it is. So, like, I feel like that's why we haven't like, been as vocal. I believe it's going to be more than this weekend. We've had friends tell us it's going to be more than this weekend. But, like, because they haven't officially said it and because we just realized that I could go Saturday, it hasn't hit me that I thought because our family was coming in this weekend that I wasn't going to be able to go at all. Yeah. But now we realize with so the So now, it, like, it just, like, hasn't could, hit us that it's, like, true. I think I'm not going to believe it until, like, I'm in line. Are you ready for bed? I want to see how this process happens. Okay, Eve, I'm going to pick you up, okay? Don't get scared. It's bedtime. Happy birthday to our dear nephew Dominic and our friend Jill's birthday is today, too. Got to add that to the calendar. Whoa. What is happening? How are we on the second half? of this month. Not everything that can be counted counts. Not everything that counts can be counted. Albert Einstein. It's so good to be home. So what are we doing tomorrow? I don't know. You want to know what? I was tired after our two Disney days in a row. We are not what we used to be. Like, as far as like our... You are almost eight months pregnant. Yeah, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> <laughs>
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.